I'm proud of you. I'm so unbelievably proud of you <laughs> for this gravy. Like, this is one of the, like. You're crying. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. We are here with another video. Because we hit 300 subscribers, we are going to do something fun. So we're gonna make poutine with all of these potatoes. Oh, I'm so excited. This will be a healthier version. It's not gonna be deep fried french fries or gravy that's really, really filled with flour and oil and sugar and anything like that. So I'm, I, it is gonna be a bit healthier, but it is gonna be massive, so. Let's get to it. Yeah. Er <laughs> hey, I can juggle. We're gonna start cutting, <laughs> cutting these up. Super speed. So. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. These are our fries. Do you think this is 300 fries? 300 fries for 300 subscribers? Oh! Probably. <laughs> Probably more than that. Let's count it. One. No, we're not doing that. To get these to get a little more crispier, we'll soak these for 20 minutes just to get the starch off and we'll go from there. Oh, this bowl's not big enough. <laughs> I think we'll leave it in that bowl. It's a lot of french fries. This My is, goodness. This is way more than 300. Okay. <laughs> so now that these are soaking, we are going to leave this for 20 minutes and while we wait, what are you doing? Making sure they're all soaking. Stop touching it. <laughs> so, is it distracting? Yes. Oh. That one was sticking up. Okay. So while these are soaking, <laughs> stop it. So while these are soaking, we are going to start on our gravy. So we'll leave this for 20 minutes and then we'll come back. This is probably the healthiest poutine you can have. In this gravy recipe, so I'll put all the ingredients and quantities in the description box below. This is just what we're working with, just so you guys can see quickly. All you're gonna need for the gravy is onion, garlic, mushrooms. What kind of mushrooms? There's portobello mushrooms and cremini mushrooms, but you can use any mushrooms. We've got olive oil, tamari, pepper, and then we've got mushroom broth which can be subbed for vegetable broth, but I can put that in the description box. We are going to start by sauteing some onions. So you're going to saute your onion till it's a golden brown color. We're going to add some minced garlic, some mushrooms. So we're just going to add some tamari now. We're going to add our mushroom broth. Add some black pepper. All right, so the way it should come out, you'll see like basically your mushrooms swimming in water. Oh um, man, that smells good. Every time I try to buy store-bought gravy, there's always so much flour, so much sugar. This literally tastes the exact same and it tastes great. So if for whatever reason you want it to be super thick, you can add some cornstarch, but I like it as is. So, I'm just gonna put it all into a blender. You can use like a hand blender, but I find that Vitamix works better. Speed this up, because this is, this is quality entertainment right here. <laughs> <laughs> Do the window. Do the wall. Do the sweat. <laughs> yeah, let's not finish that. <laughs> I love you. Oh my goodness, oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm just gonna blend this now and I'll show you what it looks like in one second. Yes. So, this is what it looks like blended. Oh, it's nice, thick, and creamy. And if you don't have french fries, if you don't have anything to put it on, or mashed potatoes, you know, it makes a mean mushroom soup, and it's really good. Wow, that's insanely good. Yeah. I might reduce it a little bit just to get some of the liquid out. That tastes like it should be unhealthy. I can make that. I just realized. Guys, if you're like me and you don't know <laughs> about cooking, <laughs> this is such an easy soup to make. Oh my god, I didn't, I didn't even think of this before. This is actually incredible. Mm. It's the best gravy I've ever had, best mushroom gravy I've ever had, and it's healthy. 
All right, so now it's time for the fries. So we are going to season these. So I'll let you pick the seasoning because you can do anything that you want. I get to pick? Yeah. Oh, sick. But just <laughs> keep it basic. We don't need like... No, I know. I can't tell you what it is. I already know. What? I'm going to put onion pepper, garlic pepper, uh, onion, pe onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, and salt. All right, so do you want to get started? Yeah. Why don't we do this? Why don't we get the baking sheet? Because these are too, too big to mix in. I'll get a third bowl, we'll mix a little bit. Put do whatever you want. All right. I think that's the best option. It's not big enough. So we'll get this. Now we'll get a baking sheet. That's really ugly, so we should put... Are you okay? Yeah, just rush it. <laughs> Some in there. I don't know if that's enough salt and pepper, but go with that much for now. You want to okay. put some olive oil? Uh, can you do that? I always put too much. So I just put small little drizzles. So ideally they shouldn't be touching, but we don't have a big enough baking pan. And we have a lot of fries. We have, we have arguably too many fries. Our quantities just keep on getting smaller and smaller because of space. <laughs> this idea is what was sparked by going, we have 300 subscri subscribers. Let's get 300 potatoes. <laughs> we are going to put these in the oven at 450 degrees for 45 minutes, flipping them halfway through as well. All right, let's do this. Into the oven. I cannot wait for those to be done. So while those oh, are... Time. So while those are baking, we are going to be doing some homemade cheese curd because that is what poutine has. Yes. So we soaked half a cup of cashews. It's all going into a blender. Got some water. Again, I will put the ingredients and quantities in the description box below. We've got some non-dairy milk. This is almond milk. I'm going to do four tablespoons of arrowroot starch or you can use tapioca starch. Two. That's three, don't mess me up. Three. Four. It's four. <laughs> oh. Why did you marry me? One tablespoon of nutritional yeast. We got a quarter teaspoon of onion powder. We're gonna use some white miso. Is miso from a bean? Um, I don't fucking know. Stop asking me these questions. What the fuck is miso? We're gonna put in some lemon, lemon juice. We need some salt, some pepper, black pepper, pepper, some garlic. You want to say it, don't you? I do want to say. Just it. say it. Garlic. <laughs> Salt. Just gonna blend this and we'll put it into a saucepan right after. Can I ask you a question? Did you know that was cool? <laughs> so we've got our cheese curd. We're just gonna pour it into a saucepan and then put it on low until you get the consistency. You'll know you'll notice the consistency. Oh, it's a nice thick stringy consistency. Where's the thing? What are you Scoop doing? Up. To scoop out the rest. Oh. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Stop. Okay. <laughs> you want to put that onto the stove? Oh, yeah. <gasps> oh, why do I keep hitting you? So you want to make sure you're continuously stirring this. So I like to use a whisk just because there's a lot of clumps that form. That's our curd forming. That's actually crazy. I didn't know how that was going to turn to cheese curds. That's nuts. Yeah. You know what that is? What? That's chemistry. <laughs> So as it gets warmer, that can go a little bit faster. It's getting thicker. Look at that. That is looking a lot like cheese. So that is our curd. I'm just gonna pour this into a bowl until we are ready to go. So we're just at half time now and we are flipping our fries. So we are oh. back with our French fries, our cheese curd and our gravy. Oh. Mm. I 
I'm just going to add some cheese curd. In no way is this pretty, but... Oh, but that looks so good. Boom. No, don't... Nope, like, no, this is why you can't do it, because you make <laughs> these massive slobs. Okay, I'm also going to add some sprinkle of thyme. Vegan mozzarella shreds. I know we've got cheese curds, but oh, like look how good that looks. Mm. Oh man. Yeah, so we're gonna add some green onion. We're gonna add some cilantro. Oof. I don't know if it's good that I get this excited about food. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're gonna add some avocado. I mean avocado. We're gonna add some avocado. <laughs> oh my God, that looks amazing. You want to add some red chili flakes on top? <laughs> no. <gasps> Sriracha sauce. No. Ketchup? Stop making me look like a bitch. <laughs> Give me this. Give me a fork. This is it. All right. Oh. Clink. <laughs> so excited. Oh my God. This is the best poutine ever. Oh my goodness. Wow. That gravy? It's so good. Wow. You said cheese wow. curds? Impressive. They're really good. I can't get over this gravy. Healthy. Healthy. Guys, it's a healthy poutine. I'm in love with this. Wow. This gravy is blowing my mind. And this is completely gluten free. Wait, potatoes are gluten free? Mm hmm. Oh, I probably sound stupid. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and we'll see you next week for another video. Whew. Wow. Oh my god. Whoa! Don't hurt me. Gently. <laughs> I don't get why people like feel the need to eat animal fat based gravy when this is so easy to make and it's so good. Like, it's such a good flavor. I like it's easily the best gravy I've ever had. It's yeah. like the flavor lingers in your mouth and it's this like oniony, mushroomy, like oh, it's amazing. You did a great job. Thank you. Yeah.